Previously on Predict the Six. For a second week in a row, Jen got just one of her predictions correct. Her Strollin v Annan game was voided by the handicap wheel, but it didn't matter in the end. At least she predicted the women's game correctly. For me though, this is unheard of. Two weeks in a row, three out of three predictions. I have now got six predictions correct on the bounce. So the scoreboard is now well in my favour. Last week I was six points clear, now I'm eight. Jen has a lot of catching up to do. Jen on 12 points and myself on 20 points. So it's another week of Predict the Six Jenny, another week where you did horrendously last week and I did fantastic. How does it feel? Great. Always feels great. Always feels great to be the better end of the relationship, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So last week, what was the word that they had to comment? Birthday. They had to comment birthday because it was my birthday. I should have remembered that, Ian, really. You had to comment that and your predictions for the games that were happening on that weekend. So, you did that, and now we're going to give one of you lot a random shout-out that Jenny is going to scroll through right now and choose one. Off you go, Jen. Mike, DAFC. We both know this guy. Hi, he comments on things, he... Talks to us on Twitter. He's he's the man. He's always here. So cheers for all the support, Mike. And it's yet another Dunfermline fan that has actually been shouted out on this video. I think that's three weeks in a row it's been a Dunfermline fan. But it's completely random, lads. Apologies that you've not been chosen just yet. But for this week, what is their word? Valer. Why Valer, Jenny? I don't know, Ben. Well, <laughs> I have been asked by a guy on Twitter to promote his clothing range and along with that I've been given a discount code now it is kids clothing remember that it is only kids sizes that they do sell but we are very small people so we've got the biggest kids sizes available but what you can do with this partnership that I've got going with Valer themselves is you can go over to their website www.valer-clothing.com and use the discount code Bring on the action in capitals at checkout and get 20% off any orders. So if you want your kids to have some nice, good quality clothes for Christmas, then go over to Valer and get some smart clothes like me and Jenny are copying right now. Very good stuff. But as far as this video goes, comment Valer and your predictions and next week you'll get a chance to get a shout out from Jenny. And myself, of course. Me. Because... You can summarise your games first this week because oh, I've done I've done it the last few weeks and I'm getting loads of games correct. I'm getting all the limelight, so there you go. You can go first. Thanks. My games are Linlifco versus Falkirk. That's happening Friday night as this video goes up. Queen of the South versus Queen of the Park. <laughs> Queen of the Park. <laughs> Queen of the South versus Queen's Park, and Hibs versus Motherwell. And my games are Inverness versus Dundee, St Johnson versus Aberdeen, and Dumbarton versus Forfar. And now, let's get in to going through the games. You go first. Thanks. But again this week, I have no notes, so Google here is going to help me. Did this before, and I think you got a better week of predictions. No. no? Did this before, I changed my mind and got a worse week of oh, predictions. Aye. Just not going to trust you. I just want you to tell them the statistics, and I'll go with my gut. Right. Linlifco Rose versus Falkirk. Right, so the premise behind this one is Falkirk have been doing pretty bad under Ray McKinnon for their standards this season. They should be doing better overall. But then Ray McKinnon got sacked and that was a very welcome thing for Falkirk fans. They're now going into a Scottish Cup tie against Linlifco Rose and they're expected to win it. Obviously they would have been under Ray McKinnon anyway because any league team will always be favourites against a uh, non-league opposition really but Falkirk have brought in two former players two that are fans favourites and the fans are probably going to be right behind them in these games and they're probably rooting for them to actually get the job eventually as full-time managers because they've only got it on a interim basis they're in. As far as this game goes Falkirk are the favourites and I think you know that. Of course I do. So I assume you're going for a Falkirk win then? I am going for a Falkirk win this week. Any other thoughts? No, but I knew about the Ray McKinnon things. Like, I had that, I just... Like, who's Lil Nifko Rose? Like, Very disrespectful from our man Jen there. I'm not a man. I'm a woo-man. Sorry, it's 2019, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. 
Inverness versus Dundee is my first one. And for me, this one, well, it's the only championship fixture this weekend, actually. Must note that, because obviously it's a Scottish Cup weekend, and these are the only two championship teams that are actually playing games. So I had to pick this one just to get a bit of championship recognition in there. But as far as the game, the result goes, I see both teams being quite evenly matched at the moment. Inverness currently in the playoff positions, Dundee floating around that area as well, and I just think that they're two evenly matched sides in the mid-table part of the championship, both aiming for the same thing in terms of promotion playoffs, probably that second last and last promotion playoff spot, probably likely to fight out for that at the end of the season, and I just think that it's an evenly matched game, so the scoreline will be evenly matched, and this one will be a draw. Went for a draw last week and I got it right, so you've got to back yourself. Been doing really well, so... Do you want a sticker? I would like a sticker. <laughs> Queen of the South versus Queen's Park. Battle of the Queens. Battle of the Queens. But again, who's Queen's Park? Queen's Park have most recently, they've been an amateur team since they were founded in the 1800s, right? That's a very historic way to start. I remember that time well. Aye, back in my day. <laughs> so they've been an amateur team, which basically means that their players don't get paid. They don't get paid the regular amount that a footballer would get paid in Scotland. And we all know that, I say. Not the most amount in Scotland. In Scotland, yes. Mm. But recently, they've made the jump to being a professional team, which now means they can sign players and pay them good money and make the next step in their footballing journey, right? Queen of the South, of course, you know them. You know the team, anyway. You know they've got Stephen Dobby. They've got Faisal Abaktui. So, there you go. There's a wee bit of background. Alan Johnson, the manager as well. So, I assume in the Battle of the Queens, you're probably going to go for the higher league Mm -hmm. team here to win it. Yep. Correct. Correct. Queen of the South. Yep. And Stephen Dobby... (sighs) Won't score. Won't score. Mm. Oof. He'll be on the bench. <laughs> he will not be on the <laughs> bench. <laughs> Stephen Dobby not to score. Don't agree. And if he does, I still get the points. So. <laughs> St. Johnson versus Aberdeen, the first Premiership fixture that has been on the episode so far, and it's one that I think Aberdeen are probably going to be good favourites to go into. They've been playing well recently, and St. Johnson they did have a wee pack up in form recently which got them off the bottom of the table and then lost to Hibs 4-1. So that's why I'm going to go for an Aberdeen win here. I just think that the better team in the league should come out on top in this one. It's on Sunday, so I'll be able to watch this and take it in myself and know in the back of my mind that if Aberdeen win it, it's good for me. Aberdeen to win. Simple as that. My last one is Hibs versus Motherwell. Another Premiership fixture. It was hard to speak, right? It wasn't very many interesting ones. Scottish Cup weekend, so Jenny didn't really know a lot of the teams involved. All I do know that um, Motherwell has not been playing against uh, good against Edinburgh teams. <laughs> Told her this earlier <laughs> that Motherwell don't have the best record when playing against both Hearts and Hibs, obviously the teams that are mainly the Edinburgh teams. So that has to probably come into account. No. <laughs> no? What's your prediction? I'm going Motherwell to one. Motherwell to win. Hibs have just got a new manager, Jack Ross. Good wee so, appointment. they might not be thing like... Might not hit the ground running yet. Aye. Mm. I was trying to say something else. Like They might not know all the tricks in the book yet. But aye. Hibs appointing Jack Ross, I think it was a pretty good appointment. Probably one that will eventually do them good, and I think it might do them good in this game. If I was predicting it, I'd predict a Hibs win. But I'm not predicting it. Jenny is. And you went for a Motherwell win against Rangers recently away from home, and Motherwell didn't win. They didn't do you any good. I British Rangers. Like, I, that was a risky and This year, I'm pretty confident. Okie doke. Well, we'll see We'll see how it goes for you. But if you have another bad week of predictions, I'll be putting then it... Then I'll di- be leaving. <laughs> I'll not be coming back. I'll let you get a new guest. Just do it yourself. Back like the old days, I used to do it the six by myself. Yes, I'll do it over my channel. <laughs> my dead channel. <laughs> Subscribe to Jenny. Dumbarton vs. Forfar is my last game. A Scottish Cup game... And one that is a full Scottish League One game, obviously both teams currently in Scottish League One. One doing probably a bit better than the other this season, you could easily say that. Dumbarton had a pretty good overall start to the season and Forfar 
not so much. Having to sack their manager, obviously, tends to tell you that they've not had a great start to the season. So I'm going to go for a Dumbarton win. Here it is. Again, another simple prediction for me. I just think Dumbarton are the better team than Forfar this season and I can't see Forfar going away to Dumbarton and winning. So, simple, Dumbarton win. So, are no. you quite confident? Um, quietly confident. Quietly confident, someone who's got two out of six in the last two weeks. Carmel hit back. It's nearly 2020. No. Aye, new Changes d- on the way. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Yeah. Right, prediction, handicap wheel, back again for another week. Right, so since you went first, you're going to handicap my game first, I believe. Yeah. So, I hold the wheel, and you do the spinning. You are going to handicap my... St. Johnson versus Aberdeen. Go for it, Hen. Now, do not look. What is it? Set piece goals don't count. In St. Johnson versus Aberdeen... Penalty kicks do not count if they go in and affect the scoreline. Goals from corner kicks do not count. Goals from throw-ins do not count. There you go. Quite happy with that, you know, actually. Right, my turn. I am going to handicap the Battle of the Queens, Queen of the South versus Queen's Park, and hope that I can get one that's either a void prediction or makes the scoreline go not in Queen of the South's favour because I think they're going to win this one. Here we go. Your winner receives minus one goal. That's fine. I got one of the ones that I wanted. That's fine. I don't know if it's going to do me any good because I do think Queen of the South will win by a good margin here. But at least it's 1-0 Queen's Park at the start of the game as it is. I'm not phased. Huh? Phased? Faisal? Faisal a bit too. <laughs> ah, ah. As Basil Brush would say. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below. Obviously, as we said, Valer. Comment that. And your predictions for this week's games and you'll get a shout out in next week's video. Subscribe for more of this type of content. Loads more of this type of content because we do it every week. And until the next video, which will be the vlog for Stranar vs Dunfermline tomorrow, I'll see you then. I won't. She'll see you next week. Cheerio. Bye.